The unique single-seat valve from Alpha Laval is an extremely reliable and efficient single-seat valve for stopping or diverting product flow. The unique single-seat valve from Alpha Laval is designed with safety, hygiene and user flexibility in mind. The valves can be configured to the exact features needed for your specific application. In the standard offering, the valve comes with a minimum maintainable actuator, but a maintainable version is available as an option. This maintenance video is based on the standard configuration of a changeover valve. Read the enclosed manual carefully before servicing the valve. Always be careful not to damage product wetted parts, and during service, always place dismantled parts on a clean surface. The tools shown here are those required for doing maintenance on the unique SSV valve. Spanner size 10 for the clamp. Spanner size 17 for the plug. Spanner size 17 for counterholding the actuator stem. Spanner size 27 for the actuator bushings. A small screwdriver for removing the plug seal and releasing the air behind the plug seal. Lubrication, Paraleak GTE 703, EPDM suitable or similar lubricant, USDA H1. A rubber mallet for the composite bushing tool. We recommend that you make a support for the valve to use during service. The dismantling of a standard changeover valve is to be undertaken in the following way. Supply compressed air to the actuator in the case of maintaining a normally closed actuator to release the preload. Loosen and remove the lower clamp. Lift away the actuator, yoke and upper valve body. Release the compressed air. Unscrew and remove the valve plug and the loose seat. Loosen and remove the upper clamp. Remove the upper valve body. Lift out the bonnet. Remove the o-ring and lip seal in the bonnet. If necessary, take out composite bushing carefully, using a rubber mallet with the composite bushing tool. Remove the seat and the O-rings. Remove the plug seals. Be careful not to damage metal parts. Remove the second plug seal the same way as the first. Be careful not to damage metal parts. Empty the bag with the service kit and check the contents are correct. Please note that the bushing is not included in the service kit. Refer to the manual before reassembling the valve. Pay special attention to the cautions and warnings mentioned. Lubricate the O-ring with paraleak grease. 
Carefully place the O-ring into position. Do not roll or twist it. Replace the bushing if necessary and the double working acting lip seal and O-ring for the bonnet. Place the bonnet on the upper valve body for a firm support. Place the composite bushing so that it snaps into position. If needed, use the composite bushing tool together with the rubber mallet and gently tap it into position. Mounted correctly, the composite bushing should stick out approximately one millimeter on the other side. Place the lip seal. Lubricate the O-ring with paralique grease. Carefully place the O-ring by pulling it gently into position. Do not roll or twist it. Lubricate the lip seal with paralique grease. Ensure that the seals are placed correctly. Place the new plug sealing, mounting it crosswise to secure a perfect fit. Release the compressed air behind the seal. The lower plug sealing is replaced in the same way. Place the bonnet on the upper valve body. Place the actuator and the yoke on top of the upper valve body and assemble them with the clamp. Place and tighten the valve plug and prepare the loose valve seat for the lower valve body at the same time. Tighten the valve plug by using a size 17 spanner on the plug stem and the other size 17 spanner on the actuator stem. If normally closed, please prepare for compressed air. Place the unit with the upper valve body and the plug on the lower valve body. Supply compressed air to the actuator in the case of a normally closed actuator function. Tighten the lower clamp. Activate the valve a couple of times to ensure correct functionality. Unscrew the actuator bushings using a size 27 spanner. Remove both actuator bushings with the O-rings. Place inner and outer O-rings in both actuator bushings. Remember to lubricate the O-rings and the groove in the bushing with Mollycoat Long Term 2 Plus or similar before inserting in the bushing. Place the actuator bushings with the O-rings and tighten using a size 27 spanner. Take care not to tighten the composite bushing too hard.
Activate the actuator a couple of times to ensure correct functionality.